The Suez Canal, a marvel of engineering and one of the most critical trade arteries in the world, has long served as the linchpin of global maritime commerce. Connecting the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea, the canal provides a direct route between Europe and Asia, eliminating the need for ships to navigate around the southern tip of Africa. Despite its historical and economic significance, the Suez Canal has become a focal point of concern for global trade due to vulnerabilities such as congestion, environmental risks, and geopolitical tensions. This has spurred a global race, with nations and corporations investing billions of dollars into projects that aim to replace or supplement the Suez Canal. From futuristic canals slicing through deserts to railways threading continents, and even Arctic routes emerging from melting ice, nations and corporations are vying to rewrite the map of global trade. Today, let's delve into the $300 billion race to replace the Suez Canal. Exploring how this will change the dynamics of global trade, geopolitics, and economic ambitions in the 21st century. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Since its inauguration in 1869, the Suez Canal has revolutionized global trade by significantly reducing travel time for maritime shipping. The canal handles approximately 12% of global trade, with over 19,000 vessels passing through annually. This includes a significant share of the world's oil, liquefied natural gas, and containerized cargo, making it a lifeline for energy-dependent economies. The revenues generated by the canal are a crucial source of income for Egypt, bringing in billions of dollars annually and supporting the nation's economy. Its role as a trade hub also influences global supply chains, as any disruption can have cascading effects on industries worldwide. Despite its significance, the canal has notable vulnerabilities. Its narrow width and limited capacity often lead to congestion. The Ever Given incident in 2021 starkly highlighted these limitations. A single blockage can paralyze global trade, resulting in billions of dollars in losses. At the same time, the Suez Canal's strategic location in Egypt has made it a geopolitical hotspot. Political instability in the region poses risks to uninterrupted operations. These vulnerabilities have prompted countries and corporations to seek alternatives viewing the canal's weaknesses as opportunities to innovate and establish competing trade routes. One of the most ambitious projects to replace the Suez Canal is Israel's proposed Ben-Gurion Canal. This endeavor aims to connect the Mediterranean Sea with the Gulf of Aqaba via the Negev Desert, and thus the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean. This canal could rival the Suez Canal by offering a shorter route between Europe and Asia. If it goes ahead, this new canal will be almost one-third longer than the 193 kilometers long Suez Canal at around 293 kilometers and would cost an estimated $55 billion to construct. Unlike the Suez Canal, the Ben-Gurion Canal will be able to handle ships going in both directions. This will be achieved by the creation of two canals. Each proposed canal is about 50 meters in depth and about 200 meters in width they will be 10 meters deeper than the Suez Canal. The largest of ships in the world will be able to pass through this canal. Whoever controls the canal will have enormous influence over the global supply routes for oil, grain, and shipping. Israel has projected an income of about $10 billion a year from the canal. This is in addition to the fact that Israel will have the largest artery connecting the Mediterranean with the Red Sea. Another ambitious project that aims to replace the Suez Canal is Turkey's Istanbul Canal. It was designed as an alternative to the congested Bosphorus Strait. This canal aims to link the Black Sea to the Sea of Marmara, subsequently connecting to the Aegean and Mediterranean seas. The canal will span 45 kilometers and is expected to have a depth and width capable of accommodating the largest cargo vessels. The value of the Istanbul Canal project may reach $25 billion, including $10 billion for developing areas on both sides of the canal, and $15 billion for building the canal itself. Although the Istanbul Canal is geographically distinct and does not serve the same routes as the Suez Canal, 
it has the potential to become a complementary or even competitive option in specific scenarios. The Istanbul Canal could become the preferred route for trade between Black Sea countries, including Russia, Ukraine, and Romania, and global markets. This would divert a portion of maritime traffic from the Suez Canal. Also, for trade between Eastern Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa, the Istanbul Canal offers a geographically advantageous route, potentially reducing dependence on the Suez Canal. But rather than replacing the Suez Canal, the Istanbul Canal is more likely to function as a complementary trade route. By alleviating congestion and improving maritime traffic in the region, it could strengthen Turkey's position in global trade without necessarily diminishing the importance of the Suez Canal. Iraq has unveiled the Development Road Project, a $17 billion initiative to establish a land-based trade corridor connecting Asia and Europe. This endeavor is often referred to as a modern Silk Road, envisioning an upgraded network of highways and railways extending from the Persian Gulf through Baghdad, Turkey, and into Europe, with the aim of transforming Iraq into a global transit hub. In April 2023, when the Turkish president journeyed to Baghdad, he finalized an agreement with Iraqi officials to establish a new trade corridor. A month later, the specifics of this corridor were unveiled, stunning the global press. It emerged as perhaps the most audacious trade infrastructure initiative announced in the Middle East since the Suez Canal. Turkey and Iraq plan to construct highways and railways extending from the Persian Gulf through Iraq's oil-rich southern region traversing the entire country and crossing into Turkey, where it would link with established European networks. This monumental project will carry immense significance, offering shipping companies an alternative to the steep tolls of the Suez Canal. Aside from the new freeway network and railway system, this project includes the construction of one of the world's largest ports, the Alfa Grand Port. Phase 1, originally slated for completion in 2019, has been delayed until 2025, yet substantial headway has been achieved. In 2020, the Guinness Book of World Records recognized the port's expansive breakwaters as the largest globally. Builders have also finished fundamental infrastructure such as docks, berths, and keys, boasting a handling capacity nearing 100 million tons across various cargo. This facility will serve as a gateway to Europe for the upcoming trade route. Even if Iraq successfully completes the project, it must contend with another formidable obstacle. Iraq finds itself as the underdog in a competition with China to establish a new Silk Road. China's Belt and Road Initiative has emerged as a transformative force in global trade infrastructure. As part of this ambitious program, China is investing in alternative routes to the Suez Canal including new maritime corridors and overland railways, and highways connecting Asia and Europe. The BRI's flagship overland project is a network of railways connecting China to Europe. This railway significantly reduces transit time for goods compared to traditional sea routes. For instance, shipments that take over 30 days by sea can be transported by rail in as little as two weeks. Another initiative is the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, a $62 billion investment under the BRI, which aims to connect China's western region to the Arabian Sea via Pakistan's Gwadar port. By utilizing this corridor, China can bypass the Suez Canal for energy imports from the Middle East and exports to Europe and Africa. The BRI's investments in alternative routes could potentially divert significant volumes of trade away from the Suez Canal. However, rather than entirely replacing the Suez Canal, these alternatives are more likely to function as supplementary options, reducing the canal's dominance while increasing global trade resiliency. Another passage that has emerged as an alternative to the Suez Canal are the Arctic shipping routes, particularly the Northern Sea Route. Driven by the effects of climate change and the melting of polar ice caps, these routes present opportunities for shorter transit times between Europe and Asia, offering a compelling competitive edge. The Northern Sea Route, which stretches from the Kara Sea to the Bering Strait, is the most prominent route due to its proximity to major trade hubs in Europe and Asia. 
The Northern Sea Route reduces the distance between major ports in Europe and Asia by up to 40% compared to the traditional route via the Suez Canal. For example, a voyage from Rotterdam to Shanghai via the Suez Canal takes approximately 22,000 kilometers. The same voyage via the NSR is roughly 14,000 kilometers. This reduction in distance translates to shorter transit times, lower fuel costs, and quicker delivery of goods. For shipping companies, the shorter Arctic routes can mean significant savings in fuel and operational costs. Geopolitically, the opening of Arctic routes will strengthen the strategic position of Arctic nations, particularly Russia, which controls much of the NSR. This could shift some of the trade dynamics currently dominated by Egypt's Suez Canal. However, the Arctic routes are not yet a direct competitor due to seasonal limitations and infrastructural challenges, but their potential as a complementary trade route cannot be ignored. As nations like Russia and China invest heavily in the Arctic, these routes could redefine global trade dynamics, challenging the dominance of traditional pathways like the Suez Canal in the decades to come. While the Suez Canal remains indispensable for now, its vulnerabilities have prompted nations and corporations to invest in alternative routes. But these initiatives also face significant challenges, from financial and environmental risks to geopolitical tensions. As these projects progress, the global trade landscape will undoubtedly be reshaped, offering new opportunities and challenges for nations, businesses, and consumers. The outcome of this race will determine not only the future of global commerce, but also the geopolitical and economic balance of power in the decades to come. What are your thoughts on the race to replace the Suez Canal? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.